Acacia Jr. You can't flirt with her. She's your sister. You're gonna have to wait. I'll have to get new burdos. And then you can flirt with a lady to your heart's content. Do not yell at your mother. That is your mom right there. That is your mother. She's in the middle of molt. She's all scruffy because she's growing new feathers. She doesn't need your kind of nonsense, Ossie Jr. <sighs> Ossie Jr. has been singing his little heart out lately. Now that all of his head feathers have grown back in, and he has recovered his beautiful, vibrant coloring, he's been singing to Miss Strawberry in the background there. So Strawberry has been actually bobbing her head towards him, which is a way of flirting back. But you can't tell. Gouldians aren't very good at flirting. <laughs> And then Ossiai Jr. is perched right here, kind of glowering at his son. But everybody's doing really well. All of the birdos are doing well. I can't really tell Chickenberry apart from the others anymore, except for the back wing. So that's how I know you're Chickenberry! Yeah, that's you! And Chickenberry is also more vocal than the other birds. Where'd you go, Chickenberry? There you are. Hi, cutie! Oh, nope, there you are. See what I mean? I can't tell Chickenberry apart from uh, Strawberry anymore. It's a little bit tricky. You just kind of have to keep an eye on them. Hi! And then Persimmon and Ossiae are still wrapping up their molt. You can see they actually have a whole bunch of new feathers coming in around their head. But they seem to be doing pretty good. So all the birdos are doing good. I just haven't been showing too many Birdseed Diary updates because they've been in molt, which means that they are absolutely ridiculous right now. They don't look that attractive, they look sick, and I'm so worried people are going to be like, Siri, what's wrong with your birds? And it's like, no, it's just that time of year. Every single year, my Goldian finches go through molt, which means that they lose their colorful feathers, and they get kind of scruffy looking. They look sick, but they're actually fine. There's Pumpkin. Hey, Pumpkin. How are you doing? Showing off those feathers, huh? And then we have Silverberry over there. Silverberry's been doing a lot better. He sings all day long. Persimmon is perched over here. Persimmon. Hi, Persimmon. And they've been doing really well, drinking their water with their calcium in it. They have lots and lots of snacks and treats. I'll give them a spray millet in a minute. They'll have fun. And you can see Chickenberry still has the funky back feathers. The two funky back feathers. I don't know what she did when she was just a little fledgling, but she messed them up. Hi, Chickenberry. Can I get a good look at you? Your feathers still look wonky. Oh, hi, everybody. Oh, we're up close and personal today, huh? Hi. I don't often get you guys to hold still for so long so I can get some pretty pictures of all my handsome birdos. But yeah, this is my Gouldian flock, uh, my Gouldian finch flock. They're looking really good today, actually. And you've got Ossie Eye in the middle here. You have Ossie Eye Jr., his son, over to the left. Now there's Silverberry on the far left. Chickenberry in the back. This is really fun. And then now we've got, now we've got Strawberry. Oh, here comes Chickenberry again. You can tell because of the funky back feathers. There's Persimmon. So Persimmon's sitting next to Ossie Eye. Those two are mates. So the ones to the right are mates. Whoops. Well, now they're all flying all over the place. But basically, Ossie Eye and Persimmon are mates and all of the ones that you see here except for the silver in the background are their children and i am going to be getting some more birdos i unfortunately lost my two unrelated birds silver or not silverberry silverberry's mate blueberry and starburst both passed away suddenly this summer one because starburst was very old and blueberry got a, a illness that i'm not really quite sure what happened with her but Everybody's healthy and happy now, if just scruffy, because they are they are molting in the process of losing some feathers and <laughs> gaining new ones. Hi, everybody. I know, everyone's so fussy. Do you want some spray millet soon? And hopefully I'll be getting some new Gouldian finches at some point in the future so that I'll be able to expand the bloodlines. But for now, everybody is semi-decent. The Gouldian finches are not cuddly birds. They don't really like to be right up against each other. So that's why you'll see them kind of like, give me space. Chickenberry's trying to rule the top roost. Do you see that? Chickenberry, you're such a goose. Hi, guys. Are you showing off how beautiful Gouldian finches are? And for those of you guys who don't know, the Gouldian finches are from Australia. And they are an endangered species because of habitat loss. They've lost a lot of their native forest due to forest fires, uh, especially agriculture, making room for beef cattle, has actually cleared out a lot of where they would be found in the wild. Hi! They're very, very pretty. They are endangered, so their numbers are pretty low in the wild, but they have a lot of... Uh, 
a lot of numbers. There's a lot of them in the pet breeding circles because they're so beautiful and they come in so many colors when you breed them. And mine have been from really, I, even though they don't look it right now, Silverberry, they're from really great stock, really wonderful lines from a biologist in a Missouri who fell in love with them and gave some to my parents and my parents fell in love with them. And now I have this bloodline. Hi guys! And I can't wait to get some new ones. Hi everybody! But I share some birdseed diary updates now and then of my Gouldian finches here on the main channel and over on the vlogging channel. So you can check out my update vlogs to learn more about them and learn more about them on a more personal level. But I just thought I would give a really quick little update because we did have some flirting going on. What you saw at the very beginning of the video was a male Gouldian finch doing his head bob and then his singing and his jumping that he does when he's trying to flirt with a female. And the way that his sister jumped away from him and ignored him, that was a rejection. So hopefully we'll find him. We'll find you a good a good mate in the future, Ossie I Jr. You just need to hang in there, okay? I know. Hi, Woody. You just need to hang in there. I'll find you a lovely lady finch in the future. It kind of feels like telling you guys about my, my niche animals as they move around in the genetics of my niche animals. So, sort of fun. But yeah, just a quick bird seed diary update. I'll try to get something really entertaining like them eating a snack or them preening. I see somebody preening back there. Or taking a bath at some point in the future. But you can check the video description for playlist of them being adorable goofy birds. They're the ones you hear in the background of all my videos. Oh, and now Silverberry's going to take a nap. Oh gosh, they're so cute. Hopefully I can get a webcam in here soon to be able to just share some Gouldian Finch time with you guys then. But all right, I'll leave you guys alone. You can go back to singing and I'll get back to recording. <laughs> all right, bye guys.